Any rough stock cowboy will tell you that he's only as good as the animal he's pitted against. And there were few better in the history of the sport than Powder River Rodeo's Qaddafi Skull. The athletic Blue Roan Gelding used style, power, and consistency to develop impeccable credentials. Hank and Lloyd Franzen purchased the gelding from Ray Sanborn in 1989, knowing there was potential, but with no expectation that this soon-to-be world-class bronc would become the cornerstone of their company. The previous owner, Ray Sanborn, had tried on multiple occasions to saddle break Gaddafi to no avail, a fact not lost on the top bareback riders in the world. Hall of Fame cowboy Marvin Garrett notes, when you take an animal and put him through all that training and it still doesn't work, you know that animal is proud of what he wants to do, and that's all there is to it. In a career that spanned the better part of two decades, Gaddafi Skull made 16 consecutive trips to the Wrangler NFR. He was named Bareback Horse of the Year three times. He won top stock award at the Wrangler NFR on three occasions as well. And in 1996, he won both. He was the Bareback Horse of the Year and the top Bareback Horse at the Finals. Gaddafi Skull's success also spilled over to the Ram National Circuit Finals, where he was named top bareback five times in 15 trips to the event. Away from the arena, Gaddafi is independent but loyal. Despite all the trips to the Wrangler National Finals and rodeos across the country, today at the age of 29, the gelding is still leery to let anyone other than Hank get close enough to touch him. Lori Franzen adds, what he accomplished in his career is about second to none. The horse delivered millions of dollars to cowboys and nothing but phenomenal things for us and our company. I just couldn't think of an animal that deserves it more than him. Great Bronx make great cowboys and Qaddafi Skull certainly did his part.